so I'm walking down the road here. Um, get about halfway down. So I get to this spot about halfway down the road, and um, I don't remember anything about how it happened. I suddenly find myself on board one of their craft. Um, one of the brownies craft, I believe. And I'm lying on a... some kind of, what looks like some kind of flat metallic surface table. Seems to have like a headrest thing at the top, but it's soft. It's not hard material, it's soft. And there is a male entity, one of the brownies, and he is examining me with his hands and he takes his hand um, and moves his hand around my torso different places he's examining me uh, I guess energetically and he's talking to me about what he's experiencing but he's not um, talking so much as I'm understanding what he's understanding. When you're with these entities, it's as if you're watching, you know, a dozen movies at once, experiencing everything, except it comes with the emotional content. So I'm experiencing what he's experiencing and understanding what he's understanding. And it's very overwhelming. And at one point, um, I find myself sitting, um, and I don't remember what happened. And I'm asking, I remember, um, I need to ask them questions, and I don't, once again, I don't remember the questions I've got in my pocket. And I begin asking them about my sister and about my father. I'm concerned about both of them and their long-term future. And so they begin, he begins to show me what will happen in their lives uh, He has his hands um, at the back of my head and I'm seeing what he is showing me and he's describing and next thing I know, I'm down here walking down the road, so we'll, we'll keep going. So I continue walking down here. What I forgot to tell you is that uh, many of the entities, I don't know if it's all of them, are following me down the road. So they're walking behind me, and I seem to be walking a little bit fast for them, so, you know, they're sort of hurrying a little bit to catch up. So, um, you know, they walk down the road following me, and I'm walking this way, um, about to cross a main road. And at this point, um, just as after the first contact, I don't have any recollection of what's happened. I've got to the point where I'm ready to cross the road, and I begin um, looking down here, and I notice some of the other, um, some of the entities walk where it's a little gentler, because it's a pretty steep drop there. I begin walking this way, um, you know it's funny, I, when I recall the experience I see the entities, but I don't know how aware I was at the time, I'm still not sure about that. So I'm walking in this direction, and as you can see we're in a car park. I won't say where we are, but I'm walking across and I'm feeling very sick, and then suddenly I do become very conscious that they're here, and I start to feel very nauseous again. So I sit down on this gutter area. See that there. I sit down on this gutter. Um, 
and a number of things start to happen. So I'm sitting here, and there are three of the entities that are with me up the top here. Two on one side, one on another. And once again, I'm overwhelmed with the nausea and, uh, you know, it's hard to describe the physical feeling, but you feel, you know, worse than you've ever felt. Your whole body is a mess. And also, I'm kind of shaking and feeling very uncomfortable. And I had this emotional stuff happening, just overwhelmed emotionally. No strength, nothing to shut it down. And one of the entities then puts its hand again at the back of my neck, um, my spine, my shoulder blades, and does different things that seem to adjust my energetic state and the nausea passes. But once again the emotion remains. I'm here with them and they are saying to me we want to show you what is to come in the human future and in your future. I, I don't know the exact words, something to that extent. That's why I keep notes because um, you know, I want to know verbatim what they said, what I recall, but you know, ask me at other times to remember exactly what they said, and it's pretty hard. But it was something to that extent. We want to show you what happens in the human future and in your future. And they said to me, but we know that you will be very sick when you see this, so we need to help you. So they continue doing whatever they're doing to me energetically. And the important area seems to be the, the base of the skull, back of the neck there. And when they feel I'm ready, this is what they do. I've got to take the camera off to show you this. So I'm sitting here in this car park, um, sometime after 9 o'clock. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty strange place to be sitting. And they create this projection in front of me and I can't quite tell how far away the projection is. Maybe it's 10, 15 feet, maybe it's further, but it does seem to fill up this whole area here. Um, oh, I lost dog, please. Um, so it's filling this whole area here and um, I asked them if they will show me things slowly because I'm not sure if I can deal with it if it all comes too fast. So they begin to show me different events that are going to take place in our future. And I don't want to go into the, those events because it was very um, intense for me, very uncomfortable for me, and um, I don't want to disturb other people with that. And there are a lot of very personal things as well. Remember, it was my future as well as, you know, a general kind of humanity's future. So. I'm watching these events play out. Now imagine if you will a, um, you know, it literally was a transparent kind of field sort of opened up out here and you're seeing the three-dimensional world and along with that you're hearing uh, news reporters, you're hearing individual people talking about what they're seeing, experiencing, you're watching, but you're also feeling what is happening and you're experiencing it. So it's not just watching something on television, it's much more than that and it's very intense. And they're with me and they're monitoring how I'm responding as well. And they're also talking to me telepathically about what I'm seeing. And um, it's very uncomfortable. So I just want to mention a couple of things that I do see, and are not, not in any great detail. There is a lot of conflict to come in the Middle East, 
and I think that will be a major turning point in, in human history. That's all I'm going to say, and it will be violent conflict. And um, there is a major solar event coming, and that too will be a major turning point, and that's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to go into anything. So from here, um, things finished, and it's almost like it shuts down again, and I'm unaware that I've even had the experience. So. I begin walking this way and I take another trip. Um, this is, see what happened is I thought I was going to be having an encounter at an area where I've had contact before. But instead it started right from the beginning of my house. You know, at our house it started there. And I misunderstood, or well, you know, I went in with a set of preconceptions it would happen down there, which is K away from home and it happened all the way along. So I begin walking here and remembering nothing. So I'll take you to the next um, you know, place where I remember something. Uh, it's the next day, the battery ran out, so I had to recharge and wait till today. Um, the next point where I was walking was here, and I always stop when I go on this walk, and whenever I'm having contact, to connect with this tree. Uh, sometimes I connect with the big gum over there, but I have a soft spot for this eucalypt. So I stopped here and I did that, and then I began walking over the bridge. At the time that I stopped um, and connected with the tree, I wasn't aware that they were here. And yet, as I'm walking over the bridge, when I went through the through my memories, I could actually see the little guys walking all around, following me. And there was a large number of them, probably the original group that came down, or maybe 20, maybe not that many. Anyway, I continue to walk up here and I didn't really pay attention to the field um, whether or not they were still in the field and above the ground but that would be my assumption that they were. Then I get to the contact site and it's about nine o'clock so I'll give you a sense of this area um, there are mountains on either side About a year ago it looked quite different. We have a lot of weeds here now, but there were um, a lot fewer weeds. And for about the first hundred meters there are a lot of kangaroos. And you can't see any of the kangaroos today. They tend to go and rest during the day. So for about a hundred meters there are a lot of roos. A couple little ones spook, but most of them are fairly settled. So I kind of weave my way around them, not to spook them too much. And then I start heading this way. So I'll just turn off till I get there. <laughs> 